Joe Biden's corn pop story is nothing less than a masterwork of modern political poetics. While often derided as a gaff-filled, rambling mess, a product of a mind scrambled by the horrors of career politics, it is in fact a glimpse at genius. Biden is in fact seamlessly utilizing Jungian psychology, namely the archetypal framework of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, as a means of raising his political presence beyond that of Uncle Joe to a mythical hero, not unlike King Arthur or Luke Skywalker. Without further ado, the analysis. I learned, I learned a lot. And I learned that uh, it makes a difference. This was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there were a lot of, there was a three meter board. And you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. In the ordinary world, we find the idyllic Rockwellian community pool. Amusing blunders, little details that give life and depth to the youth of Biden. And Corn Pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys, and I did, yeah, he, and back in those days, to show how things have changed, one of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me, I said, hey Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. Now the grave threat, Corn Pop somewhat akin to Darth Vader and his stormtroopers, a dark vision of a fellow leader of men. He has a clear disregard not only for the rules of the pool, but the rule of law as well. It is here a young Biden is met with his call to adventure, to face Corn Pop. At my car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There's a the refusal, of course. A young Biden is not bloodthirsty, not cowardly, but filled with hesitation toward this overwhelming threat, that of Corn Pop's razor. There's a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? Here we are met with our Merlin, our Obi-Wan, Bill Wright Mouse, someone near to Biden, a figure of wisdom. We said, come down here in the basement where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool f f filter is. You know, the chain, there used to be a chain that went across the deep end. It is here where Biden crosses the threshold. Literally, he is going across the deep end to retrieve the great weapon. And he cut off a six foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. Bill makes it clear that young Joe is going to have to commit to his own internal strength to stand tall. This is reflected in Obi-Wan's gift of a lightsaber and training to Luke. I said, you kidding me? He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain, and I walked up to my car, and they had, in those days, you used to remember the straight race, you'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. Here, Biden has shown the ultimate threat of corn pop, rusty razors. This is the wicked lightsaber of Darth Vader. The threat of tetanus is imminent. And I looked at him, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you to get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again, but I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. I apologize, but I didn't know that apology was going to work. The conflict comes to a head, and Biden practices not a mere pacifism, but an enlightened, ethical approach. He recognizes his own wrongs, but is holding his ground and upholding the justness of the pool law. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that, not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor and my heart began to beat again. 
And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. At last, he has returned to the glorious pool, abound with children playing on his legs, miraculous technicolor hair, and ultimately a newfound sense of self and heroism. In telling the story, Biden has given a clear microcosm of his own heroism. He is a Luke Skywalker, a King Arthur, a political hero. Biden develops his own personal mythology in a way that avoids the boastfulness of many others. It is subtle and poetic, delivered in esoteric mumbles, much like a wise old wizard. But of course, this is misunderstood as senility. But time will reveal the magnitude of Biden's genius, the girth of his political mastery. Remember, memes matter.